Alright guys, now that we understand the basics behind pointers and how to dereference a pointer, and we also learned a little bit more about arrays, what I want to do is talk to you guys about some more advanced topics, specifically learning why all of this is useful, or at least one way that it's useful. So the first thing I want to do is make a very basic character array, and I'll actually uh, put examples of two movies. The first one will be movie one. And just like before, set this equal to like the return of Bucky Man. Right there. So this is a very basic character, right? Nothing we haven't seen before. And you know how in the last tutorial I told you guys that the name of the array, in other words, movie one, was essentially a special type of variable. In other words, it acted like a pointer. Well, I explained it in a way that was easy to understand, but now let me talk about it some more. And the truth is, I kind of lied in the last tutorial because I called it a variable and it's not exactly a variable, it's actually a constant. Now I remember you guys way back when learning about constants and variables, you're like yeah, well they're pretty much the same thing, except with a constant you can't change it. And that's the same thing for a pointer constant. Whenever you have the name of your array, you can never put it on the left hand side like this because it is a constant and changing it will mess up the rest of your array. Remember this pointer, movie one, is basically going to point to the first element's address. So if you try to change it to anything else, say we want to change the name of this movie to Hey Now, what it's going to do is it's going to as you see whenever you run this we're gonna get error because it says okay if you change this right here you're gonna mess up your entire array because I'm not gonna know where any other elements are you're gonna give this array a new address or a new pointer and then I'm gonna be lost so that's why you can never have the name of the array on the left hand side because it says you're trying to change a pointer the pointer is actually a constant and dude you can't change those so even if you added those brackets afterward and try to change the name, run this again, uh-uh, not happening. Now, of course, we learned what happens when we actually want to change the name of that movie. Well, we need to use a special function called string copy, or what we can do is access each element individually, one, two, three, four. However, it's kind of a tedious way to work with strings because, I mean, it would be awesome if we could just work with these strings like a normal variable. Well, let me guys show you, let me show you guys something right now. Say we have a pointer variable right now and it's called movie2. Well, let's go ahead and set this equal to something like, um, uh, I don't know, like Bucky is awesome, I love ham. Like, uh, I don't know, like that's the name of a freaking movie. Who freaking cares? Well, check this out. We already know that movie one is a pointer constant. We can't have it on the left hand side of an equal sign. We can't change it. We pretty much can't do anything cool to it. We have to treat it as a constant because that's what we told C it was. However, movie two is not a constant. What we did is we made this a pointer variable. So whenever something is a variable, we can indeed change it. In other words, we can print this out or put it on the left hand side of the equal sign. So now let me do something like this. Puts movie two and what puts does is basically takes this movie and prints it out on the screen just like a regular string. So it says Bucky is awesome I love him. Now the reason that it, it is able to print this out on the screen even though that this is technically a pointer is because Remember, what puts does is essentially takes a string and starts printing it out on the screen until it gets to that null zero, that zero terminator at the end. So what's going to happen is this movie two, it's actually not even storing any characters or storing strings. It's storing the address of where this string begins. So whenever we print it out on the screen, it says start here and print letters out until you get to that null zero. So since this is indeed a variable as well, what we can do is this. 
we can put movie to and set it equal to new movie title and now we can print it out again and check it out so this was the original one Bucky is awesome I love ham and then we changed it just like we did every other variable such as floats ints characters we didn't need to use string copy we didn't need to access every individual character we just treated it like pretty much how we want to treat it and we printed it out perfectly so I know that that's kind of a hard concept to understand but now we have the knowledge and pretty much ability to treat these variables like we always dreamed of at least I always dreamed of this is the stuff that's in my dreams so the key concept to take away from this tutorial is whenever you just make a very simple array of characters it's hard to change because that name of the array is a constant and you can't easily change constants however whenever you make a pointer to a string this pointer right here is a variable so you can easily put it on the left hand side since all this is doing is it's storing the address of something so then we can treat it like a string saying start at this address movie 2 and start printing crap out on the screen until you get to null 0 so again I know that this is kinda of confusing and kinda of a hard concept to understand but <laughs> I mean don't blame me because uh, hey whoever made C go ahead and yell at them because they made it kind of a pain in the butt but this is what it takes to become an awesome programmer 